Imagine NASA announces the imminent impact of an asteroid. This could put an end to all life on Earth from one moment to the next. In 2029, an asteroid as dangerous as the chunk that wiped out the dinosaurs will hurtle past Earth, just 39,000 kilometers away. But that doesn't let us off the hook by a long shot, because Apophis will be back, and there are thousands more asteroids lurking in space. The most dangerous asteroid of all. In 2004, astronomers discovered a chunk of rock that could cause as much damage to Earth as the impact of the asteroid that wiped out dinosaurs 66 million years ago and plunged the world into decades of chaos. The Chicxulub asteroid measured 15 kilometers across and slammed into what is now Mexico at a speed of several kilometers per second. A tremendous shockwave and enormous heat destroyed everything in the immediate vicinity of the impact site in a matter of seconds. Rock and debris were hurled high into the atmosphere, causing further chaos. In the minutes and hours after the impact, the shockwave spread, earthquakes and tsunamis devastated North and South America, and the massive tidal waves also reached the West African coast and parts of Europe. Hot material thrown into the air fell back to Earth, creating massive fires and further destruction. The heat and smoke generated by the impact heralded dramatic climate change. The sun darkened, the earth grew cold, and many plants died. The fires and dust made the air we breathed toxic, and animals died out in mass. The impact and the resulting upheavals affected the entire biosphere of the earth. Old species died, new ones developed. Experts now suspect that mammals, which include us, could never have become so important if the impact had not happened. And now it could be our turn. If an impact of this order of magnitude repeats itself, our homeland would be completely destroyed and humans could possibly not survive under the new conditions. Now, I'm sure you can understand why scientists at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were breathless when they identified the new asteroid and found that it was getting closer and closer to Earth. On Dangerous Orbits Asteroids are remnants from the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. They were formed from the material left over from the formation of the Sun and the planets. Since that time, the rocks, which can range in size from tiny grains of dust to large bodies several hundred kilometers in diameter, have been flying through the solar system. Like all objects, they follow gravitational influences. Most asteroids, like planets, have elliptical orbits around the Sun. Their orbits can have different inclination and eccentricities, which means that their orbits are not perfectly circular. Certain events can cause asteroids to enter unpredictable orbits. They are attracted by the Sun, repelled by solar winds, attracted by planets, or accelerated by them. Because of the gravitational order in the system, most asteroids are bound in the Kuiper Belt at the far edge of the solar system and in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Nevertheless, chunks keep shearing off and then moving toward the Sun, and in the process they can come dangerously close to Earth. Asteroids flying towards the Sun approach the Earth cyclically. Fortunately, most near-Earth asteroids are small and can do little damage to the Earth. They burn up in the atmosphere. However, some of the larger near-Earth asteroids pose a potential risk, such as Apophis, discovered in 2004. Apophis, Chaos and Destruction The name could be program. In Egyptian mythology, Apophis is the god of destruction and chaos. Apophis was depicted as a huge, evil serpent that tried to devour the sun bark of the god, Ra, on its daily journey through the sky. Had Apophis succeeded, it would have brought darkness and chaos upon the world. Apophis's destructiveness could supposedly be quieted in ancient Egypt by rituals and prayers, preferably performed at night, at which time the dark god was weakened and his power could be broken. Whether NASA will be able to break the power of the eponymous asteroid and whether this will be necessary at all 
we illuminate in the further course of the video. Facts about Apophis Apophis has an estimated diameter of about 370 meters. This makes it much smaller than the Chicxulub asteroid, but we still should not underestimate Apophis's danger due to the speed at which it could hit us. Apophis has very likely been cruising through the system for about 4.6 billion years and belongs to the group of Apollo asteroids that regularly cross the Earth's orbit and thus are all considered potentially hazardous. For a short time, a possible impact was predicted for the year 2029. Then, a few months later, came the big relief. New calculations showed that Apophis would pass Earth at a distance of about 31,000 kilometers. We could call that just getting away with it. In March 2021, Apophis already flew past Earth once at an even greater distance. If it returns in 2029, the chunk will be closer to Earth than most satellites. Then we will be able to see Apophis shining brightly in the night sky. As eerie as this visitor is, brightly lit asteroids are seen on Earth only every few thousand years. The spectacle is a unique event scientifically and for amateur astronomers. After a few weeks, Apophis will be gone again, but the asteroid will come back and then the encounter could end quite differently. Do we have a real chance? Apophis's orbit is known, and we can continue to observe and explore the asteroid. This can provide something like a sense of security, yet so far, our resources are very modest when it comes to warding off asteroids. Often people imagine it could be quite simple, like in the Hollywood blockbuster Armageddon, when astronauts fly to the asteroid and blow it up. But what goes well in the movie could have exactly the opposite effect under real conditions. If the chunk shatters into two or three parts, these could be accelerated enormously and be hurled right onto the Earth. An efficient blasting would be possible only if we knew more about the nature of the asteroids. The destruction would be similar and the benefit realistically zero. Scientists currently agree that deflecting the orbit would be the more efficient and safer method for this purpose, spaceships, rockets, and also gentle blasts in the environment of the asteroid are suitable. Apophis gets a visit from NASA. Scientists and governments around the world are concerned. We urgently need to know more about asteroids in order to develop suitable defense systems. That's why Apophis will soon get a visit. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission is currently on another mission. The spacecraft launched in 2016 and landed on the no less dangerous asteroid Bennu. On October 20th, 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected a sample of Bennu's surface, and it will arrive on Earth in September 2023. Then OSIRIS-REx will become the follow-up mission, OSIRIS-APEX, and the probe will launch again to unlock the secrets of the god of destruction and chaos. Countries around the world involved in the project immediately pledged contributions of $200 million to make this important mission possible. Just 30 days after delivering the sample collected by Bennu, the probe will set course for Apophis. OSIRIS Apex is expected to reach the asteroid exactly in 2029, when it will shine brightly in the night sky. The probe will remain on site for a full 18 months studying data and Apophis's surface. Mapping the surface could make it easier to spot Apophis's weak spots, blast it, or push it out of its orbit after all. Presumably, the asteroid will also undergo enormous changes during its flyby. The gravitational pull will cause the chunk to tremble, and minor landslides could expose fresh material that will be analyzed by Osiris Apex. In addition to the NASA mission, South Korean astronomers are planning a probe that will reach Apophis in January 2029, just before its flyby of Earth. The mission aims to study the asteroid's structural changes due to its close encounter with Earth. Other plans call for a smaller spacecraft called Apophis Pathfinder. Much faster than the larger probes, the Pathfinder is expected to reach the asteroid as early as 2025 
or 2026 and complete several close flybys. Reportedly, private spacecraft, such as SpaceX and Blue Origin, also have plans to approach Apophis. Due to the extreme proximity, Dragon space shuttles from Elon Musk could pay a visit to the asteroid so astronauts can see it with their own eyes. So, it's going to be exciting, and in a few years, we'll see an asteroid up close and real for the first time like never before. Bennu and Apophis, the terrestrial nightmare? The danger of asteroids is graded with the Palermo scale. The scale rates the potential danger of an asteroid impact on Earth from 0 to 10, based on the size and orbit of the asteroid and the likelihood of an impact. A value of 0 means that the asteroid poses no threat, while a value of 10 means that a global catastrophic event is likely. Currently, predictions can only be made up to 2116, and since both Bennu and Apophis will certainly not collide with Earth within that time, their values are currently 0, as are those of all other known near-Earth asteroids. However, if a cosmic event such as an extreme solar storm or a collision of two asteroids pushes them into a different orbit, this could change from one day to the next. It's just as well possible that new asteroids appear near the Earth, which represent a massive danger. That such chunks can appear, as if out of nowhere, is demonstrated by surprise impacts such as the 20-meter asteroid that exploded in mid-air over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk on February 15, 2013, causing significant damage. The detonation occurred in the atmosphere and not on the Earth's surface, but it was enough to destroy entire buildings and cause hearing and bloodstream damage in humans. On June 1, 2018, an asteroid about 2 meters in diameter struck a botanical garden in India and damaged some buildings. These examples show that asteroids are a constant threat and we should not underestimate them. We thank you for watching and of course, as always, we're interested in your very personal opinions. How likely is an asteroid impact for you and do you think we have a real chance to protect ourselves?